look, this is not a rant, but the people who compile this tosh, no disrespect, uh, you know, are the type that go north of Rickman's Worth only when they go to the Edinburgh Festival Fringe and they think that everybody in the north is in Coronation Street style terraces. They're the type who buy skinny lattes and, you know, call their mushy peas guacamole. They're the sort who go out to the Ganges on holiday so some bearded bloke can sit them cross-legged and teach them to relax to the sort oh, yeah. who use they're the sort who use their uh, blackberries in the silent carriages on British Rail and they have baby shambles <laughs> on, as their ringtone. <laughs> They're the type who think that Little Britain was funnier than the likely lads. They've never been to Middlesbrough. They don't know about the Cleveland Hill. They don't know about the Cleveland Hill. They've never visited Captain Cook's monument. They've never been to the Institute of Modern Art with all its Picassos. They've never been to the beaches. They don't know about uh, the River Tees. They don't know about Yarn Village. They've never seen the historic Transporter Bridge, for goodness sake. They've never been to the Riverside City. I bet they don't know that the Sydney Harbour Bridge was built by a Middlesbrough company, Dorman Long. And what about the famous sons and daughters of Middlesbrough? Brian Clough, born at number 11, Valley Road, Middlesbrough, 21st of April, 1935. They ignore him. What about Rory Underwood, Ray Mallon, uh, Jonathan Woodgate, Chris Tomlinson, Chris Kamara? Unbelievable. They've forgotten about Paul Daniels, Roy Chubby Brown, Liz Dawn, alias Vera Duckworth to you and I, and Journey South. They've never heard Chris Rea, and they've never tasted his family's wonderful, wonderful ice cream. Okay, it's not quite as nice as Hartlepool, but I tell you, Middlesbrough is a darn fine place to live. From above.